Good afternoon to all of you. I am Dr. S. Vijay Raghavan, Assistant Regional Director, IGNO Regional Center, Kochi. Uh, today, we are going to see about uh, two programs. One is Postgraduate Diploma in Intellectual Property Rights, PGDIPR, and another one is uh, Postgraduate Certificate in Cyber Law, PGCCL program of IGNO. Next. So these two programs offered by uh, School of Law of IGNO. Next. First, we can see that Postgraduate Diploma in Intellectual Property Rights, PGDIPR. The, the program Postgraduate Diploma in Intellectual Property Rights was revised and launched in 2013. The objective of this program was to acquaint the learners with basic concept of intellectual, intellectual property rights and develop expertise in the learner on IPR related issues and sensitize the learner with the emerging issue in intellectual property rights and the rational for the protection of the IPR. Next. So we can see that uh, eligibility of this program uh, towards the admission. So eligibility, you can see for this program, it is graduate in any discipline. Any uh, graduate uh, uh, student, they can be able to get the admission in this program. Medium of instruction is English. Uh, minimum and maximum age, there is no age for, for getting admission in the particular program. And uh, eight courses of four credit each. It, it has eight courses and uh, each course has four credits. So here you see total 32 credits to completion of this uh, program. All the courses are compulsory. Duration, minimum one year and maximum three years. Offered in both January and also July cycle of the admission. So candidate able to complete this program within the one year or if not able to complete, maximum we are providing three years duration for enable to complete this uh, program uh, in IGNO. The fee structure, you see that uh, rupees 10,200 rupees for full program. Next. Job opportunity. In the field of IPR, intellectual property rights, patent agent and patent attorney and trademark attorney, etc., the candidate qualified in this program, IPR, they can be able to get the uh, job in the intellectual property rights field. The new invention that can be intellectual property means the property which is uh, coming from the knowledge. It means the new invention that can be registered in the IPR uh, for the patent purpose. So these are all the fields the candidate able to get the job opportunity in India and also abroad. Next. Next, we can see that uh, postgraduate certificate in cyber law, PGCCL. This is a very uh, uh, important program of IGNO. This is most wanted program. So you see that postgraduate certificate in cyber law seek to address the changing needs of the knowledge of society in the area of cyber law, the main objective of the program are to enable learners to understand, explore, accurate, a critical understanding of the cyber law in the present scenario. To develop competencies for dealing with the frauds, deceptions, confidence, tricks, scams, and other cyber crimes, uh, which is uh, current scenario is facing in the country and also abroad. So next, uh, to make learner conversion with the uh, special and intellectual property issues emerging from the cyber space. It is a very good term. It is a cyber phase. Is it, uh, you, you know the space, but the cyber phase is one of the term. It means national network of internet which is connected to the computer. It is otherwise called as cyberspace. 
to explore the legal and policy development in various country to regulate cyberspace to develop an understanding of relationship between commerce and the cyberspace for the business to provide learners in depth knowledge of information technology act and the legal framework of right to privacy data security and data protection and new technologies so next so these are all the thing the candidate is able to understand after enrolling this program in igno they can get the in depth knowledge of the particular program so here you see that eligibility uh, for admit at getting the admission in the program you see that graduate in any discipline or fourth and fifth year a student of five year integrated llb course who have passed three years those candidate having any graduate also they can able to get the admission and second fourth and fifth year student of five year integrated llb program uh, student who have passed passed three years that candidate eligible to get the admission in the particular program medium of instruction is english minimum and maximum age there is no age age bar and then you see the credit system of this particular program it is comprising 16 credit uh, of the uh, program here it comprises consist of four compulsory courses so total 16 credit to complete this particular program so evaluation system you can see the how evaluating after getting the admission so what are the evaluation uh, process we are doing uh, here one is assignment and second one permanent examination the assignment having weightage of 30 percentage of marks is the internal assessment assignment it is for internal assessment of the uh, study and next 70 percentage is theory examination it is weightage theory theory examination next duration minimum 6 month and maximum 2 years offered in both january and july cycle of the admission the candidate able to complete this program within 6 month and if unable to complete this program within 6 month we are providing maximum duration 2 years within the 2 years flexibility they can able to complete this particular program so fee structure rupees 8400 per full program so these two program are available for scst uh, free of cost there is no fee uh, for getting the admission please next employment opportunity you can see the employment opportunity india is need a person with depth knowledge of cyber law pg certificate in cyber law can be considered as an added advantage and great scope for the corporate field and information technology next the cyber law expert are in huge demand in public and private organization law field police organization and it firms and the corporate world these are all the field the candidate able to get the job after completion of this particular program uh, uh, from the igno it's next admission uh, through online how to get the admission for this for this for both program you can uh, visit our igno website uh, the following links that is https igno admission dot samarat dot edu dot in for more details the the the, the candidate and also the public or requester to visit our igno website uh, for more detail for getting the admission next thank you thank you very much